After a long break and some time to think about it between the motos, I decided to tough it out and try to avoid a DNF by putting in at least one lap in the second moto. A DNF, or did not finish result, for a race means that I would get no points for the race, essentially making the whole trip a waste of time. All the money and time spent would be for nothing. Moto2 turned out to be a horrible nightmare. I quickly found myself wishing for the comparatively easier course of Moto1 at this point. The sand and whoops in Moto2 were unending and unrelenting. They had to make up at least 90% of the 10 mile course. Anytime I thought I could get any speed up, a set of whoops would shut me down and have me struggling to keep control. Pain shot through my leg with every whoop, and just when I didn't think it could get any worse, another sandy whoop sent me flying over the bars, only to be stopped suddenly by the impact of my thigh on the handlebars. The pain was intense, and I thought for a second that I may have broken my femur. After a long few moments and some help recovering the bike from Rick Scott, who was the sweeper for this race, I was able to get back on and lift my body and the bike through the rest of the course. At the end of that lap, I was broken. Physically and mentally broken. I had to get off the bike and rest my leg. The pain was unbearable, but I was prepared to do another lap if I had to in order to avoid a DNF. Do I gotta take checker to finish? Assured by the race officials that I would not need to ride another lap, I rested and took some sand riding tips from Rick Scott. Later, my friends Scott and Mike packed up the truck and Mike had to ride my bike down to the highway for me. Feeling dejected but happy that I avoided the DNF, we began the long drive home. At breakfast the following morning, the race results were posted and there it was, a DNF for the race. I was angry. I was ready for an argument to get my points back. They told me I wouldn't have to do another lap, but I had to do my due diligence and look at the rule book again. 
Turns out the DNF and a score of zero points is correct. In order to avoid a DNF, I would have had to complete a lap for each of the two laps that the leader completes. The leader in my class made eight total laps. I had only completed three laps for the day. I needed just one more lap. No pun intended, but I have no leg to stand on with the protest, and I will have to accept the results. I learned a lesson here that I had forgotten somewhere between my time in the Marine Corps and today. Don't quit. Unless you are completely incapacitated or dead, quitting is not an option. It will become a habit that makes you disappointed in yourself and lets everyone down. I need to do whatever it takes to make sure that I never show up for another race unprepared. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.